We decided to attend Flight Sim Expo. This is our fourth year now coming to the show. Uh, it's really incredible. One of the uh, best home flight sim shows that, that are out there that are available. So being able to come here, interact with all of our customers, uh, new customers, existing customers, show off our new technology and really get to see what else is going on in the in industry is, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The reception has been amazing for everybody. A lot of people didn't realize how big we were. We have 32 of our team here. And that's important to come to these events because then it gives you that visibility of our audience and our customers. I'm getting to see a lot of new people. I, get, I love the diversity. There's a lot of different backgrounds here. I just really love it. I'm gonna be honest, I just love the experience. Everyone's very friendly and very excited and pumped about being here, so every single person. <laughs> the best part about coming to the expo is meeting all the people that care about aviation. And you can feel the love for aviation in every conversation we have. I really like that everybody here is so friendly. I've been flight simming for 30 plus years now, and there weren't anything like this in the past. Meeting the community, meeting the developers, uh, meeting my other fellow flight sim pilots, it's, it's been awesome. I'm happy to see that I'm around people that's interested in the same thing that I'm interested in. So I would highly recommend uh, coming to Flight Sim Expo. If you have any interest in home flight simulation, professional flight simulation, tons of exhibitors, tons of new equipment, new technology, uh, it's really an amazing place to be. Events like FS Expo just really give the public and the, the flight simulation community the opportunity to connect with the developers, connect with the hardware, get to see all of the products, and it, it's an absolute must to come to these events, it really is. The love for aviation binds us all together, and to see the people that actually use it in person and to feel how much it means to them, it's wonderful. Hello and welcome everybody to what is going to be a really cool and exciting hour. My name is Callum from FS Elite and I am joined by Evan from the Flight Simulation Association team and we're here to talk all about Flight Sim Expo 2024. Welcome Evan. Hello. It's been like what, like a week since I saw you last and how many countries have we both been in? Uh, it's just mad, isn't it? and <laughs> it's becoming a regular occurrence. I saw you in February, I saw you in March. So Obviously you're saying it's too you much. June. No, it's never too much to see you. <laughs> um but yeah obviously we're here to talk about june we're here to talk about flight sim expo 2024 um we have absolutely tons of news to get through yes, we, we have a bunch of uh cool special guests as well joining us throughout the show so if you are watching do stick around because we have all sorts to talk about and we also have a massive giveaway at the end of the show as well which you are definitely going to want to learn more about once we get to that point as well um so very quickly, Evan, maybe just give us a very brief introduction of yourself and a little bit about what Flight, Simula uh, Flight Sim Expo is all about. And then we'll talk a little bit more about how you can get there and also some of the things that we can also do in Las Vegas. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Flight Sim Expo, I'd, I'd like to hope everyone watching has at least an idea of what we're doing. And if you were at FS Weekend, like Callum and I were, you definitely have an idea of what Flight Sim Expo is all about. But it really is just bringing the community together, giving us an opportunity to connect, to meet in person, to hang out. You've got exhibitors from some of the biggest names in home flight simulation, product announcements from those same names. We have educational seminars submitted by folks from around the community. And then even outside of the show hours, different activities and excursions from tours that we'll talk about in a few minutes to fun group activities night out on the strip the whole thing is just bringing this hobby that we know and love from the virtual world into the real human world for those of you who can make it to las vegas and of course just like in previous years if you can't join us in person uh, then we do have access to the limited online only show doesn't give you the whole experience by any means but at least you'll be able to still participate and get a sense as to what's happening you'll see all the biggest announcements streamed live yeah, and I, I think whilst the online thing is really cool, I think the big experience of this is actually being together in person, all in that yes. one big space. Um, so obviously trying to be at the show is the important thing. And obviously everyone who is tuning in today is very keen to learn about who's actually going to be there in terms of our exhibitors. And we're going to talk all about them really yes. soon. Um, but I think one of the biggest things a lot of people want to know is, you know, getting to vegas not necessarily the cheapest place in the world to get to especially if you're traveling from overseas like myself um maybe you can talk a little bit more about you know the effort that you and the team have put in in order to try and make this as 
financially affordable uh, as possible for people looking to come to the show. Yeah, you, we get it. Like it is expensive and this is a hobby for a lot of people. And if you're somebody who has a family, maybe you're bringing the family. That's awesome. Maybe you have to tell your partner, hey, I'm going to Vegas for the weekend. And, you know, <laughs> if we can try to make that a little more affordable, right? That's definitely better. So we've really tried to make it easy. If you go to flightsimexpo.com slash travel you will find our discounts on airfare on the hotel rooms on rental cars we've just really tried to make it a nice easy package for you there's a link where you can book your hotel rooms the rate is like 150 170 ish dollars all in including taxes fees across a three night stay that's going to include a 25 dollar f and b credit for you to use on site at the rio that's of course going to include your room and those rooms are in the newly renovated ipanema tower it was there about a month ago they are like literally brand Brand new they look really nice they've done a very nice job with the whole renovation that's going on at the property right now uh, i do want to let everybody know very important that you do pay attention there's going to be cheaper rooms available if you go to a booking website you can definitely find rooms that are cheaper than ours those are in the non-renovated original tower you're more than welcome to stay there. Just know it's not going to be the same experience as the brand new renovated rooms. I did look at both. I made the decision that we were going to only book rooms in the newly renovated tower. So again, if you go to our website, you book with us, you're totally fine. If you did book somewhere else and you're like, oh, wow, I got a much cheaper rate, you probably did. But just know that there is a bit of a difference in the quality. So, hey, if you want to save some money, that's definitely something you can do. Just again, know that you won't necessarily get all those benefits listed on our website and you might not necessarily get the same experience but we've really tried to make it easy so everything you need to know about coming to the show including all those discounts airfare discounts with delta united southwest including for international attendees they're all at flightsimexpo.com slash travel amazing thank you so much and i think if you've if you've come to previous shows and in particular the houston show where we were kind of separated into two different hotels and the event being at a museum I think what's really cool about this year's show is the fact everything is in one central location. So everyone's going to be all in the same place. So organizing meetups is going to be so much easier. Obviously, yes. all the exhibitors and attendees are all in one place. Um, so, you know, there, it's a really, in my personal opinion, it's much nicer the fact we are all together in one place. Um, so there's no second guessing, which is going to be the, the quote party hotel. Yes. Um, and by the way, but... we've sold out the room block like four times already, and I added 100 rooms today. So they are there and ready to be booked. So you've heard it here. Book your rooms if you come in. Yes. Um, just before we uh, introduce Q8 Pilot to, to talk about a little bit more uh, detail on some other things as well, Vegas, known to be the entertainment capital of the world. Um, obviously, beyond the show, there is so much more to do. Maybe you can give us an idea of just some of the uh, the things that maybe people would be interested in kind of looking at or attending to do uh, at the show as well, uh, outside of the show, I should say. Yeah, at, at and outside for sure. So we've got four days up on the screen here. I'm just going to talk briefly about Thursday because I know we've got some developers watching. One of the things that we've done both in Houston and again this year is we know all the flights and developers are kind of here for the weekend. And so we wanted to give us a chance to basically connect with the developers and and the community so anyone who's exhibiting or sponsoring at the show that's thursday in the past we've gotten questions people going hey what's going on thursday it is exclusively for fs expo exhibitors and sponsors that includes virtual airlines vatsim that includes obviously the developers who are exhibiting and sponsoring at the show and that's an opportunity for us to basically have a safe discussion about all that's going on in the community so that's happening thursday if you're an exhibitor or a sponsor you're more than welcome to join us for everybody else i think a lot of people will probably be coming in on thursday and for those of you doing that we're going to have a whole bunch of fun activities that go out first thing friday morning so uh, we'll have more detail on those activities probably in about two weeks but some of those will include atc tours on friday morning we've also got a trip to the mob museum we have a uh, really cool kind of outdoor i don't even know how to describe it john halverson you can try to communicate it in the chat if you want but it's like this outdoor sandbox for adults where you get to drive some heavy machinery including with an open bar i think that's after you do the digging and there's also a supercar experience so all those activities are optional excursions that we brought in you remember those last year from houston where we had the museum we had access to the space center that same concept we brought to las vegas so for anyone coming in either thursday night friday morning those will be the first opportunity for you to hang out with those optional activities then we get into things on friday one o'clock with our fs expo 
Friday seminars. We'll have a series of product announcements, new reveals, updates from developers, and a whole lot more going on Friday. That's followed by our attendee welcome reception and some fun activities, again, optional that you can purchase on Friday night. Show is Saturday and Sunday. That's when our exhibit halls open. All of our educational seminars will be happening. And on Saturday evening, we're also going to have a series of optional excursions. That'll include trips to the Strip. That'll include comedy. That'll include magic and a whole lot more. So those activities and this schedule, you will find out more about that in about two weeks. We're working on the speaker schedule right now. We wrapped up our survey where you voted on all of the seminars that were submitted, and we're taking that feedback as we put together that speaker schedule. So in about two weeks, you're going to see the full speaker schedule. You'll see the full set of activities and tours that are available for optional purchase this year. And then about two weeks after that, you'll be able to actually register. So all that stuff is coming. But of course, we wanted to get you the exhibitors first because those are always everyone's favorite. Absolutely. Yeah. And just as a side note, from what I remember last year, the extra excursions and activities, they went really quickly. So yes, if you do. are interested in these, you need to act fast. You need to A, make sure you've got your ticket. So you need to register ASAP. And we'll talk about registration a little bit later, but do it now. Um, and also then you can make sure you can put those uh, excursions and tours as soon as they come out. Um, so we've talked a little bit about the show, a little bit about Vegas and kind of some of the itinerary, but the person who's kind of brought all of this together really today is our good friend, Q8 Pilot. So please, uh, let's welcome Q8 Pilot to the discussion. Yes, absolutely. Make sure the microphone's unmuted and Q8, very much a uh, big thank you to you. Welcome. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. No, thank you. Thank you for kind of putting all this together. We do have other special guests who you've obviously invited to talk about the show and react to the exhibitor video that's going to come uh, shortly. Um, but it'd be really cool to learn about your experience in Houston uh, last year and also what you thought of it and why you think more content creators should try and attend uh, this year's show. Well, last year was my actually my first time at FS Expo, so it was the first show that I attend, and I was uh, it was it was really a, a great time on on a personal level because I at first I, I got to meet everyone, I've got to meet all the content creators uh, who happened to be my friend, but uh, my friends, but they were all you know we were all uh, kind of meeting virtually or talk behind Discord, so the human connection was very important, uh, I think, for me on a personal note. And uh, definitely looking at all the exhibits, looking at all the new stuff that's coming to the world of flight sim uh, was another thing. And the logistics, I think I was blown away by what, uh, you know, Flight Sim Association has done uh, in collaboration with you guys, FS Elite. I think the show was just outstanding uh, at all levels. It was a, a fun show to, to be at, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I think for um, you know, for attendees, for people, just flight sim hobbyists, uh, flight simmers, uh, I think the show is an opportunity to test products uh, firsthand and get a feel for what's coming. Uh, or if you've been contemplating about buying something, that's an opportunity for you to actually, you know, physically interact uh, with these, with, with hardware, with the software. Uh, it's an opportunity to also meet your favorite content creator. Uh, I know we, um, you know, we interact with them behind the chat walls on our streams, but then it's an opportunity for them to also meet uh, in person. And it's also a great uh, place to be. Uh, Vegas is a, is a great place to be. Houston was a great place to be. And there's uh, a lot of opportunities for networking as well. Absolutely. And I think the networking aspect is why these things are super important. And it was so good to actually meet you in person last year. I came up by your booth. We had a good uh, conversation. And um, yeah, it's just it's so nice to actually be able to put faces to uh, names to faces and stuff. Um, so one of the big things that we are really trying to push um, is to try and get as many exhibitors at the show as possible. We're about to do the reveal of the largest uh, ex uh, partners reveal that Flight Sim Expo has ever had. But there is still time and there is still space for anyone else who is considering to come. Um, Q8, why would you, what would you say to developers who may be on the fence or contemplating about coming to the show? And, and what would you say to them who, and trying to convince them that actually coming to Flight Sim Expo 
is a really good way to meet your fans and also get feedback from the community. I think it's very important for developers to be at a show like FS Expo uh, for the simple reason uh, of the amount of people uh, that are going to be there. You're going to be exposed to people from different cultures, different backgrounds, um, with different level of experience in, in flight simming. Some are real world pilots, some are avid flight simmers, but some are beginners as well. And this is, I think, the opportunity for developers to meet those guys, get feedback uh, from uh, all walks of, of you know, all uh, the all level all levels um, from from those simmers. Um, I think it's very important uh, to not only just get the feedback from the attendees or from the flight simmers, but also from the content creators. And FS Expo is hosting probably the largest number of content creators, at least the ones that we know, the famous ones. So I think it's an opportunity for developers to test out their products, test the waters. I would 100% agree. I mean, us as FS Elite, we're, we're always there trying to do interviews. I know there are plenty of streamers there as well who go around with their cameras, interacting with fans, trying things out, and then reporting it back to their community. Um, would you think, I mean, this is feedback we've had from developers in the past that sometimes they're a bit nervous about coming to these shows because they're worried that all those people they see online who complain or moan or whinge or attack in the no, comment sections, in do you think that's the case? No, not in flight <laughs> That never happens. Never, never. Do you think, but do you think that's the case or do you think the, re the reception is, you know, totally different at these in-person shows? Uh, I'll, I'll be, look, it's, um, <clears throat> I'll tell you um, from experience, uh, Callum, I think those guys who moan behind the chat walls, um, if they actually do meet you in person, I think they'll be very nice. Um, I don't think that it, it, the fact that you don't know who those people are, behind, you know, hiding behind the, you know, behind the chat there. Um, yeah, they can say whatever they want, uh, but I don't think I, at least from my personal experience, uh, no one has ever. I've never met anyone at FS Expo or elsewhere in person where they were rude or not nice or moaning about the product, mm -hmm. but it's an opportunity for them to give you, uh, I mean, and developers, um, all developers and content creators as well need to be open to constructive criticism. If somebody has something important to say, I think, uh, you know, we owe it to ourselves and to the community to listen to them. I a hundred percent agree. And I think most people are there with really good intentions they're going to give you honest on the spot feedback and i think that's always been that's always a benefit for for everybody um so we are just a few moments away now from the the reveal trailer that we've all put together for you guys who are watching um but before we do q i just got one more question for you and it's a little bit more about what you're planning on doing at the show i mean i don't know too many details so please it'd be great to elaborate on exactly what this uh, media partner lounge uh, that you're hosting and putting together is all going to be about. Okay, cool. Um, so last year um, at FS, FS Expo, I had a booth and <laughs> I was very, very humbled at, at the number of people who just walked to the booth to just say hello and say thank you for what you've done for the community. So I was thinking about it and I ran the idea by Evan. I said, Evan, why, why don't we create something for all content creators, not just a booth for Q8 Pilot, but a booth for all content creators to stream and for all their fans to come and greet them and say hello to them. Um, so this idea came about of creating the creator den, if you will, and it's gonna be a den and it looks like it's gonna be really nice. So it's going to be a, a, a venue for content creators to stream, but also to meet their fans. And um, there's going to be some <clears throat> really nice um, picture opportunities there as well. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to stream. That's what we do best. And uh, meet and greet uh, all the fine folks over at the show. Um, yeah, that's that's the idea behind it. I mean, I, it's really fascinating because I... I'm at these shows and I'm running around and stuff and I'm seeing all you guys doing all your live streaming and stuff. And the amount of people who come up to you asking for like selfies and what and just meet there, the people that they see on stream. So having a like single place where you're all going to be, obviously you're going to be milling around and stuff in the show, but that's really cool that there's a really loads of opportunities as well. Yeah. We were super so, excited that we could actually like pull this together and just make it like a, a home for the content creators at the show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. 
Absolutely. All right. So I think it's uh, about time. What do you think? I think so. Would you like to see some 2024 Flight Sim Expo exhibitors? All right. We will oh, yeah. bring on the video, and then we may find a couple friends while we're waiting. But for now, let's play the reveal of the 2024 Flight Sim Expo exhibitors. Thank you very much, and I just want to confirm the squat code that you gave me is 5214. Is that right? Citation uh, 144 Mike Alpha. Citation 4 Mike Alpha negative squat code is 4214. 4214, thank you. Have a great day. Citation 144 Mike Alpha.
there we wow, have it. Wow, wow, wow. What do we think, guys? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really a lot. Lot. It's it's a lot. absolutely crazy. Wow, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to be like a kid in a candy shop. I can see that. <laughs> I see a lot of new names, though, from versus last yeah, year. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, yeah, we found some friends, by the way. You guys may have noticed that we have a few more people on the stream now. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Everybody. Hey, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? World. This hello, is awesome. World. Yeah, this is awesome. I don't so know. Let me, let me just... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, so this is the biggest reveal trailer thing that these guys have had in the seven years that they've been doing flight sim expo and yeah just there's just such a cool mix of different companies here that you know it's just gonna be a load of fun yeah it is, and like where do we start there's so many right it's uh <laughs> So you know, I remember like being there last year was like, okay, you, like you nearly needed the two days to get around and say hi to everyone. And like, yeah. Evan, we need yeah. more than two days. <laughs> well, you get three now. A week long event, Evan, is that possible? <laughs> say again. Wow. You can make it like yeah. a week long event, maybe. Yeah, I know. Day, I like, wish. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. I, and I was and Evan, this is only a few of them, isn't it? There's, yeah. there's more to come. That, yeah, that's actually. The thing. You know, so we, we, these are people who registered by March 9th. So we've actually added about 10 since the video. And Phil has just told me that those are live on our website. If you want to have a look, you'll actually see some more names that weren't even in the video okay. yet, which is crazy. And we have until May 31st for people to register to exhibit. So if you are a oh, flight wow. sim developer or a community or a virtual airline and you want to be at this show, please register. You have like two months to do it and you can join them and be part of what is like Likely to be the biggest show we have ever had. Wow. wow. It's very interesting to see uh, some competing uh, products there. The uh, wing, wing, uh, what do you call them? The, the ones wing. with the wing. wing. Yeah, wing, wing. wing and uh, mini cockpit. And then I know that uh, Say Intentions and Beyond ATC are also in the show this year, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, sure. it is. And it's really interesting because I, I'm thinking that the show may be for the first time. We're really going to be able to have a look and assess just how much of an impact AI is really going to have on the sim. Absolutely. Very curious to see how it's going to play out. It's very cool. Yeah, I was going to say that what I like about what I just saw is um, the fact that, yeah, we're flight simmers and we're streamers and we, we're only one part of the community. There's so much more here for other parts of the flight sim community that usually we don't really see online as much. There's so yeah. many uh, uh, just cockpit makers, you know, the lectures that are probably coming up and so forth. So even if you have friends who have never been and they're like, well, you know, I don't watch anybody live stream on YouTube. You can say still come. There's a lot more here for you to see than what you normally see. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what we're looking at. So I, I like that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, very interesting. What I look for in AI, what I hope for is when I buy a peripheral, I don't have to configure it. AI will say, oh, here's all the buttons and here's all the mappings. Go for it. It's going to save me half my lifetime. Can you imagine? It would be so nice. I hope it does. But I remember from last year as well, like there's a lot of the um, kind of like the toolbox talks as well. You know, I mean, there's there's there is so much to see. I mean, you have the developers, you have content creators uh, and then you have. You, Flight simmers. I mean, for me, that was that's the biggest draw to this. It's getting to meet up with people, and you mm -hmm. learn so much just chatting. Um, outside of you know our environment of streaming, uh, when you get to chat to someone in person, it's uh, it's great to kind of share ideas and just just have a bit of fun. It's great. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, I'm just you... hoping that we're going to get some more people um, for VR. You know, virtual reality. We need. Yeah. We need more VR representation, in my opinion, at these shows. So you VR people out there, get hold of Evan, book your slot, because VR in simulation, at least, is a growing business. Yeah, yeah the VR simu like, yeah, uh, experience y'all had last year was great. So hopefully we can get something like that again. It's and, coming mm. back. Uh, confirmed. I know Pimax is confirmed for that. I think I probably should just make things up on the spot. There's more though. I know there's a few more. I just don't want to say names with them. No, I can say them, but we will bring back the VR experience that are run by Rick Parker from Next Level XR, the same guys who did it last year with a big shout out to SimFab and MSI Computers for helping to sponsor and set that all up. But that will definitely be back. So if you want to try out a whole pile of different VFR, VR, not VFR, VR setups, <laughs> those will totally be there on site again for us as well. 
Oh, yeah. I like also that the flight schools are taking notice of our community. I think it's super important. Uh, and I want to see more of that, honestly. I think that so many people in our community want to be real world pilots and to have the flight schools there to show them the way. I think that's a perfect next step to go from our community yeah. to real world aviation. Yeah, I remember. I agree. The correlation I, is there. I totally agree. Favorites from yeah. Houston. We I had reached out to a bunch of flight schools in Houston, and like nobody wanted to even talk to me. And I remember I was on the phone with one of them, and the guy didn't even want to give me the time of day. And then on the Saturday night, I think in Houston, he like calls me up in a panic, and he's like, "Can I please come on Sunday? I totally screwed this up." <laughs> and we managed to get a booth for him, I think, on Saturday night. And he was there Sunday, like literally selling Discovery flights. And I was like, "Thank you. Like you totally understand. Like there's so many people who are at this show who also want to be pilots or." If nothing else, yes. just do a discovery flight. Like, come on, people, pay yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And let me talk about. Just let me go back to the location first. I know you guys were talking about what you can do in Vegas. Location, location, location. This is going to be yeah. my fourth flight sim expo. And have just first of all, having it at the same place that you're going to be staying at the hotel, newly renovated Rio new rooms if you love that stuff new carpet smell uh there's going to be uh restaurants and <laughs> bars on the site this yeah. is a chance for you, you guys have enough time to rebook your vacation and make this a vacation because i know some of these guys i was talked to earlier but i'm going to be there a day before and a few days afterwards just completing a whole thing you know just to not just go to the show but to enjoy Vegas and see it, you know, in all its glory, there's a Grand Canyon close by. So the location of this flight in Mexico, I think, you know, there was a debate of as to where it was going to be next. And at first I'm like, ah, Vegas. Then I'm like, you know, it's Vegas. It's Vegas. Yeah. I'm not even renting a car the first couple of days. I don't need to. No. You guys go right from the hotel. What is it like a yeah. 10, 15 minute drive to the hotel, if that much? Yep. Uh, there's, yep. uh, I, I looked this up. There's set rates from the airport to that specific hotel. And it's very cheap. In in, uh, in in taxi, so it's a good spot. Uh, and also, if you'd pre-booked at the Tropicana beforehand, and correct me if I'm wrong, Evan, but there's a twenty-five dollar gift yes. voucher, gift gift voucher, but taxi voucher for shared stuff, uh, shared Ubers and stuff to the hotel, so that makes it easier. And also, again, to highlight the fact, everything is going to be at the hotel. It's gonna you've got your staying at the hotel, the seminars are going to be in the hotel, the exhibition halls in the hotel. It's all in one central place, so there's no needing to have to worry about commuting from your hotel to another place as well to see all these exhibitors. Yep, there's like 15 or more um, bars and restaurants, not including the food hall, which in itself has like seven. And then of course we'll have concession stands on the show floor Saturday, Sunday. So if you don't want to even leave the exhibit hall, you can stay there for the entire day and you're pretty much looked after. And then in addition to that, everyone who's booked at our room block at the Rio, you'll have access to that $25 F&B voucher. So that'll either apply to stuff in the hotel or you can do Uber Eats. We haven't quite figured out how we're going to work that yet we're still going through those details with the hotel but there'll be lots and lots to eat and do without ever having to leave the rio and then of course we'll have our activities as well so i'm going to throw a question out to all of you guys here um we've seen the list now super overwhelming and i'm sure it's going to take a few times to kind of process everything but if you were to want anything from anyone who's exhibiting what would you want to see not necessarily a specific person or like product but like how, what how would you like them to represent themselves at the show what would you expect to see like what would you envision like the best booth set up to be just to maybe give them some ideas and inspiration uh whilst they still got a bit of time to plan well uh, let me shout out i and i builds from um the last expo you know as um yeah Camden Canada knew they have a whole setup with a whole you could sit in a room in surround sound and a huge screen to surround yeah. you they were showing off the JFK and the A300 at the time a presentation like that alone just wows you Agreed. but yeah. specifically you know proper hands-on you know what I mean that's, if you're gonna, yeah. Yeah. there you go exactly proper hands-on you know I did call out explain for not having a big enough booth where you can have multiple stations where people can come in and experience the sim, you know, that's exactly. four or five yeah. stations. That's what yeah. I'd recommend. That would be my thing. The, the user interaction is so huge at events like this. I, you nailed it 100%. The way that Anybuilds did it, even the way that Microsoft did it, the way they had it set up last year with all of their uh, PCs just running the simulator in the background. You can go sit down, fly for five or 10 minutes. Um, the user interaction, that, that's what I think, that's what really sells an event like this is mm -hmm. allowing somebody to be able to either test your product hands-on, watch somebody use it, physically try it. Th that, in my opinion, it, it doesn't get any better than that. This is what really makes these expos. 
Go ahead, Murph. I, I, I agree that I was just going to say that not only is it just um, the exhibitors, but uh, for many people, flight sim is a fairly solo experience, um, uh, particularly if you're a VR nut like me. And uh, <laughs> exhibition like this is just a great opportunity to meet other nuts as, as avid as you are and, yeah. uh, and, and to meet people with diverse backgrounds that share in your passion. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's the only place, it's the only place that I've found, in my opinion, was just where you can have something like that, right? I don't have too many friends that I grew up with in real life that are interested in flight sim, but I have hundreds of friends that I've met now through doing this streaming and, and being part of this community that just have share the exact same passion. And this is the only place really, in my opinion, where you can experience all of that in, in one spot for a weekend, you know? For sure, for sure. And like, again, it's it's getting the opportunity to speak to the developers uh, and, you know, and the folks who even make the hardware, because it's it's a very kind of, um, it's a very kind of a safe environment, right? I mean, you're just chatting to them one on one. Uh, and you, you get great, you know, feedback of what they're doing. And um, in, in terms of the space on the floor and where you can go, I mean, I haven't said it yet, but like, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see, you know, Microsoft and X plane, you know, I'm only thinking maybe a wrestling ring in the middle of it all. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> but uh, it could be interesting to see because, uh, like, X plane did have a great feature there, but so did Microsoft, and and like that, you can go over, you can sit down, and the team <clears> is there. <throat> you know, it's 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 great yeah. to kind of just get involved with both. You know. This year should be really interesting too with 24 coming out as well. Like what's Microsoft going to do? Are they going to blow it up the weekend again? Because I don't know if any of you guys were there in 2019 in Orlando. I mean, E3 was going on at the same time. I think E3, right? And then Microsoft announced that they were coming back with Microsoft Flight Sim and they weren't even at the expo, but the entire expo, that's all everybody was talking about. Um, so I'd be I curious think... to see how they're going to do it this year, how they're going to approach it. Are they they're going to set something up or they're going to have 24 for all of us to try and who knows man it's exciting it's exciting time i think we're yeah, in a very different you. position than we were in 2019 i mean we know the yeah. sims here and i think what they did last year was was a nice balance obviously they had their xbox microsoft thing kind of early june and then when they came to flight sim expo they had their late like, presentation yes we knew about 24 ahead of time but they were able to elaborate and answer community questions whilst kind of at the show and it, that was like the perfect blend, I think. And it would be really great to see something very similar this year. I mean, uh, I don't know what the floor plan is yet. I don't know if it's been updated, but I imagine I hope you can have like a nice big space um, for lots of people to try stuff out, whether that is current the current sim or whether that be 24. Um, speaking of kind of like presentations and stuff, what about product announcements? Are you hoping That's for That's what it? I was going to bring up was... Yeah. I'm I'm hoping, and, and no one told me to say this, <laughs> but if you're a developer <laughs> and, and you're planning to be at the show, you have a product you're working on, I, I would say, like, legit announce it at Expo. Like, uh, last year, I'll be honest with you, I was a little disappointed that many developers were dropping trailers and sneak peeks, like, the week before Expo happened. Like, why wouldn't you just wait <laughs> a week and, and, exactly. and do it live in front of everybody and then make it live to the world? You know, like, the... the I can't tell, I can't express the, the excitement and vibe that was in that that hall room when the presenters were coming up there showing off their products and, and talking about deep diving and stuff like that. So like if you have a product coming out, I would say if you just announce it. Like I think you guys did a great job of uh, announcing like many products last year. It was it was just so good. Um, so I would recommend hold your releases. Not just yeah. release, hold your announcements, your releases to like the weekend of showcase it live in front of all these people, get the standing ovations, <laughs> you know, it, it was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. And when it's you hear too. like, when you hear the live reaction as well, I mean, you'll hear people gasp, some will laugh. You just hear, whoa, like it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> to be a part of all of that. So yeah, it's a, it's a great point to have. I think last year, um, for me, at least, from my perspective, I think the the winning product announcement was that of A to A. Yes, A to A won the year. That was the. <laughs> and what's um, cool that was just the bomb. They, they weren't even and, there. Like they didn't even have. To, you don't even have to yeah. come. I mean, it'd be great if you could. Like Scott had something last minute and two tone. You'd stepped in real nice there and did an yep. intro for them. Right place but, at like, the right time. It was yeah. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's the thing. It's like you know, some people are like, well, I don't know if I can make it to the show. Like, send me your trailer. We'll play it on the stage. It's going to be shown to yeah. three thousand 
plus people like come on yeah. you know it's it's such a great opportunity so obviously yes the best thing to do is to be there because then you see the reaction live and you get to actually be up on the stage of course if you're me you have to go up on the stage and announce where the show is going to be which is terrifying but um you know if you're a flight <laughs> developer it is really great feedback to be able to do that live and if you can't do it live send us a trailer we'll put it in friday it'll be a yeah. really great opportunity sorry Kieran, i totally cut you off but Kieran, no, i think but... i cut you off there sorry man no. <clears throat> i was gonna say uh just uh one other thing i love about that one specifically i think the reason why it hit a little different that eight away announcement was not only was it a brand new product that we were we did not see coming in the way that it was but also they had a respected content creator showcase it and yes. and like stand on stage and like represent it i thought that was so cool and i want to see more developers that was kind very of cool advantage yeah. of members of the community who love products like that and have their own following to be able to express that and show off things like i love that that whole combination to me which is like perfect murphy did a great job <laughs> two ton murphy it's a great point to make though like i mean as content creators or streamers or you know just just folks who do this sort of stuff. I mean, we, we do get a very unique perspective when it comes to add-ons, be it, you know, hardware, software, aircraft scenery, because we're so kind of immersed in them. So when it comes to a developer wanting to show something off, it, it's who better to show it off than the people who, who pretty much do this all the time. Do you know what I mean? So, and there's, there's a great um, variety of different attitudes, different styles, different content creators. So there's someone out there for every developer. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what it's all about. Find someone who, you know, you're comfortable with, you can work with, and it, it just works. It's true. Yep. Absolutely. I'm going to start. Do you recall in the last expo, um, you know, you, you came, uh, you came by the booth to say hello. And then we talked about this. And I remember one of the things we discussed is the power of the content creators. Because if we collectively, as content creators, say that something isn't worth it, um, prob people are probably not going to invest in it. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. It's funny. I have, I have this scene in my mind. The last time I saw you guys in person, it was um, Q8, <clears throat> Captain Canada, Blue Games. I think Murphy was there too. Was We're in the front of a 747 in first yeah. class having this discussion. Yeah. How beautiful and magical was that? Yeah, and, and that's the magic of the expo that you guys get with Q8 Pilot making this booth for all the content creators to kind of congregate, meet and greet, mm -hmm. uh, fly if we want, streamer if we want. That's magic um, for us getting the feedback in person for what we do because we're looking at a camera every day. We don't get to see you guys. We only see chat. Right. For you guys seeing us coming up and saying hi and meeting us, it, it's 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 electric. You know what I mean? And that's part of the fun of Flight Sim Expo. As, as yeah. um, you were saying, um, you you have two friends in life who likes playing, but over the internet, you have a thousand people, you know? And this yeah. is the beauty, the beauty of it. So that said, uh, Kiwi, in, in the booth for content creators, I need some extra pillows or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but that's going to be awesome. That's going to be something new, by the way. We, we, we kind of mm -hmm. sort of had that before in 2019 with uh, Jeff Fabiano, but this is this is going to be nice to have um, all of us people there, in and about, just sharing you guys saying hi and so forth. So I'm looking forward to that as well, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so thinking about the exhibitors, I mean, we've talked a little bit about the hardware people. We talked about the simulator people, uh, the people who make the sims. But there's also opportunity for kind of organize like virtual airlines community organizations like that seem to also be there they've got a nice big booth as well are you excited to see them and do you think they're really good ways to to kind of kick start maybe your journey into the world of that sim and other online communities yeah like the VATSIM stuff last year um was just amazing like that the whole room set up all the controllers were there and like you could literally stand over the shoulder listen in and see what they were doing it's a great insight because uh you know, yep. even when you know you do a bit of that sim from from our perspective a pilot's perspective we don't see anything we just hear them uh, and when you see what they're doing be it with you know whatever scope software that they use it's it's a great insight and it kind of joins the dots for you so yeah it's awesome mm -hmm. yeah i think it's a really cool experience yeah i'll say as far as virtual airlines like i saw southwest virtual on the list and i've been to multiple uh 
multiple events where they've had virtual airlines there. And I think it's super beneficial for virtual airlines to have a booth, have a presence, not only to congregate with their own communities, but bring more people into their community. Because one thing that like we all said is like, we're, all, we're usually just here solo, right? We're here on our computer doing our own thing. We don't see anyone else. We don't meet anyone else. But when you join like a virtual airline, you join a community and you make friends within the community who can geek out about planes body like you, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's just a great way. Cause you don't want to, you don't want to just go to the expo by yourself, you know, trust me, turn to your left, turn to your right, ask them, what's your favorite plane? You'll be talking for an hour. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the nice thing too for right. virtual airlines is it's free. Um, so you can actually come to the show. You bring six people. There's no cost to you to have a booth. And this year we're actually taking that concept even a bit further. We're creating this online ATC display area. So VATSIM, but also virtual airlines will all kind of be in this one central spot on the show floor. So you'll be able to watch as the pilots <laughs> flying on the network and then the controllers actually handling that flight all in one place. And I know, you know a lot of the people on the stream, you'll be super familiar with VATSIM already, but there's there's plenty of people who come to this show, they're maybe brand new to flight simulation. That's usually about 25, 30% of our audience. There'll be people who've never tried Batson before. And so a big part of Flight Sim Expo is let's have you discover something new. Let's have you find something that you haven't seen before. And if we can show, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people Batson and just totally change their flight simming careers. And of course, Batson is one example. What about content creators and what about hardware, right? That's what this show is all about. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good conversation. Sorry, I had a good conversation with Vatsim, you know, and it was well needed face to face to <laughs> <laughs> clear up some things, you know, get some clarification. And so you can come up and speak to your Vatsim controller because I had a uh, Boston Air TCC was there. I think LA was there. You know, some of the major ones. You can go see the guy that you've been talking to for a year and a half online, who's been directing your airplane. Yeah. Go say hi. Just go say thank you, because these guys are volunteers. That's the thing. Yeah. So you get a chance to meet these guys in person. It was actually awesome. Sorry. Yeah. And they have to deal with us all the time, right? <laughs> this is true. This is very true. For free with that on top. <laughs> So uh, I'm just going to very quickly shout out, it's not in my show notes, um, but also uh, FS Elite have got a stage presence as well this year. So we've got kind of like a mini stage in the exhibition hall, in addition to obviously the big seminar rooms and stuff. But what we're really hoping to do is any developers who are announcing or showcasing products is to then get them up on stage and have a chat with them, maybe do some live product demos. So kind of all the things that you guys were talking about, what you would like to see um, at the show as well. So if you are a developer watching this, Keep that in mind as well, because it'd be really cool to chat to you and obviously have like audience ask you questions there and then at the moment. Um, and again, it's just a really cool opportunity to to showcase your products, whether they're new or you've got new features as well. And obviously for the content creators as well, they can come along, ask you questions, talk about it in their streams to their audiences and take questions from their communities as well. So yeah, there's going to be so much to do. It's going to, yeah, we need like a week, not just the weekend. Another <laughs> thing that I liked a lot last year that I hope to see again this year was the on the floor events and giveaways, like different booths were like, all right, if you come by a Saturday at five o'clock, we're doing like this giveaway thing or showcasing of some new product. Like, you know, um, they also had multiple people doing landing challenges. I know Captain Canada did one as well, at the Thrustmaster booth. So like stuff like that, interactive things to do throughout the weekend, you know, like if, yeah. if you don't want to stand in line for that 320 cockpit, <laughs> you can go do something <laughs> else, you know? Uh, so yeah, like I, there, I there, there, there was lots of that last year as well. Like, I mean, so you had all the announcements, which is great, but then on your Saturday, Sunday, just getting around to the booths and just meeting people out on the floor. Like it's, it's, I learned more walking around to some of the booths, just chatting to developers saying, you know, what are you working on? They're like, yeah, yeah, look, look at this thing. And you're like, why, why didn't you tell everyone else this? So like, <laughs> it gives you a great opportunity to get a lot of insight as well. Plus you can chat to the people. I mean, look, we all share um, pretty much in the same hobby. I mean, we're all into aviation or flight simulation and mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. My lights turned off with the back on now. <laughs> <laughs> It's being controlled by my own viewers and they've loads of questions, but uh, <laughs> you can bring them nowhere. That's great. Well, I, I think the big challenge for Evan and, and Callum and what have you, for you guys to make this show uh, a real success is have a chat to Jorg at uh, Microsoft and see if he can give away some preview copies of Microsoft 2024. <laughs> you might have to go already out. 
<laughs> the on the show for, for that. But uh, might be a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will say, like, in, what's really cool about the role that I get to play in this show, where I'm talking to a lot of flights and developers, and that would include Jorg and Microsoft, and basically, I think it's a pretty exclusive. It includes everybody. Is like everyone's just like indie cool people like us. They're all basically just flight simmers who kind of like started a project and it's now grown into something big. There's pretty much nobody yeah. who's like really corporate in this show, and everyone gets how important this show is for the community and how important it is for them to be there. And so whenever I speak to Jorg or really any of the developers, that's always what I'm talking about is it's just the support there for bringing <clears> people <throat> together, for coming to FS Weekend, for coming to our show, Flights and Expo. That is huge. And so um, I'm sure that Jorg and others um, will be just super excited to meet you as they were in the past. And when folks come to the show for the first time, like we were saying earlier, the reaction is always like, wow, I just can't believe people are so positive and so excited and all these great questions mm -hmm. and all this great feedback. That's what we always hear from developers. And it's, it's super nice to be able to see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we said at the top of the show that we had a big giveaway, yes. um, which I think is now time to talk about because we've been talking about how exciting the show is going to be. We've talked about how many exhibitors are going to be, talked a little bit about some of the activities as well. But obviously, we want as many people there as possible. But uh, Q8 Pilot, I'm going to hand this one over to you and talk about what this exciting opportunity is going to be. All right. So as part of uh, giving back to the community that has given so much <coughs> For me personally, um, I decided this year that I was going to do an all-paid trip to FS Expo, sponsored by the channel, and it's nice. uh, going to include uh, the air ticket. It's going to be capped at $700 for the air ticket, a three-day stay at the Rio, plus uh, some vouchers for um, spending some money there as well. And uh, that is my gift to the community for the endless support over the past nine years. Hey. Can, can we enter as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank that is you, amazing. Kid. Where do I enter? <laughs> you, you can enter. Uh, and, you can, and you can probably win. Uh, we'll talk to Kate about that if it comes up. Uh, anyone can enter, and that includes whether you've registered before, whether you've not registered for the show yet. Uh, please only enter if you really mean it. Like, I would love it for to go to somebody like last year when we did this contest. It actually went to someone who never would have been able to come to the show if not for the contest, and they did come to the show, and it was fantastic. Um, so anyone can enter if you've registered or not, and the URL to go to is flightsimexpo.com slash q8 pilot it is on the screen uh, where we see it right now of course you get an email It'll be in our discord later too but that's the place you can go you can enter extra points if you are an fsa member extra points if you go and subscribe to the q8 pilot channel and a few other ways you can get some bonus entries but that is open right now to all anyone in the world who wants to come to the show and uh yeah by, by all means go ahead enter everyone on this stream as well <laughs> Can I, can I just ask, what, what do people have to do to enter what, once they go to the, are there questions or is it just a name or? Name, email address. I think in some jurisdictions, like in where I am in Canada, you have to answer a skill testing question for some reason. So it like automatically puts that in if you're in Canada, but not if you're in the U.S. It depends where you are, but nothing special, no payment required. It's open to okay. everyone in the community who wants to go. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. Big up, big up. No That's kidding. Awesome. Yeah. And we started, you know, this kind of started off as like, a, like, what can we do to give back to the community? And we kind of put our minds together and, and thought about this project. But I think it'd be a really cool thing for anyone to win. But especially if there's somebody out there who's like, you know, I really want to come to the show and this would make all the difference like it was last year. Um, total chance that that happened, by the way, but it was really neat to see. So please do enter that contest, flightsomexpo.com slash Q8 pilot. And a big thank you, not just for that, but for the media partner lounge and all the support and basically yeah. helping us spread the word because we have no audience without you guys absolutely my absolute pleasure um amazing so uh, obviously coming to vegas is also a big deal but there are media partners as well who are going to be at in attendance and i assume everyone on this stream is going to be there yeah i'll be there i'm yeah, yeah, awesome. just trying to figure out my plans but i think i might be there oh well, you hope you're there <laughs> yeah i hope so <laughs> bill hopes you're there <laughs> um, can you imagine if i just didn't show up don't touch wood <laughs> gosh 
Um, but obviously there's, there are other media partners out there as well. And again, you can go check them out on, on the uh, partners page. And all of us are going to do the best job that we possibly can to try and bring as much of the show in Vegas to you guys who aren't able to attend. So whether you are going to get the, uh, the, the online only add on and watch all the seminars through that, but also obviously, uh, ourselves at FSD are going to be doing show floor tours, as I'm sure any of the content creators there are going to be doing, um, everyone's going to be trying to cover everything because as a media outlet, there is no way I'm going to be able to send me and my team to the 60, 70, 80, however many exhibitors there are going to be to have touch points on everything. So this is why we have such an amazing media partner collaboration between all of us to try and cover as much as we can. And everyone's got their own skill sets uh, and there's just going to be so much content to watch as well. So if you aren't able to attend, do try your best or enter Q8's amazing contest. But if all else fails, then make sure you follow each and every one of the media partners that are going to be attending because we are all going to do our best to make sure that we cover as much content as we can for you. I think we can do that in between everything else that's going on in vegas oh yeah <laughs> absolutely lots of shorts and instagram posts there you go lots of, yeah, lots, it, lots, lots of, a bird. yeah there is a 24 hour bar i heard that twice <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so we have just a few more minutes left um i don't know if anyone's got any questions from their chats they want to kind of bring up or ask evan to just clarify if you don't, I do have a couple here as you maybe prepare some. Uh, so the first question we had from Long Haul Captain was whether there would be opportunities to buy uh, hardware during the show. Evan, you're probably the best one to answer that one, I think. Yeah, I think you know we certainly keep trying to push this point on developers, and it is hard because they've got to bring a whole bunch of hardware. But you know, we were at FS Weekend. I just love the fact that, like, fortunately, it helped that the company was local. But I think Flights and Web Shop had this like amazing like stand mm -hmm. where you could literally like buy stuff. It was like walking into like a flight simulation store, and I would love to yeah. see that at our show. I always encourage developers to please bring inventory if they're willing to do it. I think we're seeing more of that happening than we've ever seen before, which is really cool. And I know you at SoFly also have been able to kind of do that but i say like you know worst case if you can't bring a bunch of inventory bring five six seven couple of pieces and then give people a place where they can buy and it gets shipped right back to them you know if they don't have the ability to bring stuff back in their carry-on that's a good way to do it as well so we definitely encourage exhibitors to sell on the floor we welcome them to do it we try to make it really easy we cover some of the sales tax uh, logistics to make that actually happen but at the end of the day of course it is up to the individual developers to make that happen and we hope they'll keep doing it yeah, absolutely. I mean, these places, all the feedback I always seem to get is people want to buy stuff at these shows. They've, they've yeah. come all this way. They, they've tried it for the first time and they fall in love instantly with it and they just want to buy it there and then. So yeah. any opportunity is a must for anyone who is exhibiting to offer that opportunity. Um, show discounts. Um, Lots that's another great thing that we see at these shows, typically up to like 20, 30, 40% off some of your favorite hardware or software. So Again, more uh, more reasons to come. Mm -hmm. um, did anyone have any questions from their chats they want to put forward? I've won here. Uh, Gibbo's asking um, for the um, for the boots, right? For all the individual boots that are there, is there anything that FS Expo can do to kind of showcase what they're doing, or is it very much up to the content creators, uh, or as Colin said, FS Elite trying to get around to everyone? Is there anything there if you know folks on their boots have announcements to make, or is that only really captured if you like on the Friday? No, we've got lots of opportunities. Uh, great question, Gibbo. Thanks for that. So uh, first of all, you know, you can put that in the description of your booth on our website. Just reach out to us. We also have our exhibitor announcement designed for Saturday, Sunday stuff. So those can be done on the stage or they can be done at your booth. If you let us know about it, we put it in the event schedule so people know where and when to find you. And we do like a Discord ping whenever that announcement is happening. And then the other thing that you can do is spread the word with your own community. So reach out in your Discord, post on your social media, anyone that you know of who's coming to the show who's one of your customers one of your followers like tell them hey you know at this time come back to my booth we saw this with any builds last year where they had an announcement i think on the sunday and it was kind of low-key like we hadn't actually put it out there in the exhibitor announcement but they basically just said you know this is going to happen and of course five people start crowding around the booth and then it becomes 10 and then all of a sudden like five minutes later there's just this massive crowd of people because everyone's going hey what's going on over there and then they played the trailer and it was really well done and they did it with like pretty much no 
advanced warning, which was perfectly fine. So lots of different ways to do that. Um, details on that would be in our partner opportunities doc, or you can reach out to me directly. But those are a couple of the ways that we'll be trying to let everyone know what all is going on. Of course, the challenge becomes like managing that because there is so much going on on the show floor. But anything that you tell us about, we will communicate back to the attendees, usually somewhere on the event schedule. Nice, and, nice. And to add to that, tell your media partners. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we can help spread that word. <laughs> so if you don't tell us, we're not going to be, if like, you do something at your booth, then tell us so then we can come to your booth and do something about it or come to our stage or, you know, whatever way works best for you. Just make sure you tell your media partners as well so we can we can help spread that word. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I like I like the idea of uh, mentioning your Discord. If you guys haven't joined the um, FSA Discord, yes, uh, yet you're saying Evan during the show, you guys will be doing updates and notifications about what's going on on the floor through the Discord. Yeah, your exactly. Discord. Yeah, so if you guys haven't joined yet, um, join uh, the FSA Discord if you're going to be at the show or when you're at the show, so you can see because there's so much to look at, you can easily miss a lot of things that's going on on the show because it gets so so packed, so loud, so crowded that join the discord and you guys can be able to you know get a, a chance to see what's coming up something that you might be interested in and miss if you don't get notified so join the discord definitely uh we had another question just come through it's a very quick one uh the question is and i think this is even asked in here will austin from explain be at the show <laughs> i had that question too <laughs> and i've got it in my i've got it in my little chat thing here yes he'll be coming and he is hosting a aircraft building seminar. Yes. Ooh. So Ooh. literally with laptops and joysticks, he is going to walk you through how to build an airplane in X-Plane. And then you are going to watch him fly it and you're going to build your own airplane and you're going to fly it in the span of hopefully about 90 minutes. And that'll be happening both days, Saturday and Sunday, totally free. That'll be one of the many activities that you can sign up for at the show. And that'll be a lot of fun. Very yeah. cool. The question cool. is, are we going to be able to ask Airsoft question, questions? And the answer is, yeah, they're going to be there. You guys could get to say all you need to say, be respectful, ask as much questions yeah. as you want. There you go. I have one uh, unpopular question maybe for our community, but um, is there going to be a presence from DCS or Eagle Dynamics this time? I would love them to be there. I've reached out every year. We continue to reach out. Uh, they, I think they kind of had a small presence previously, but it was like unannounced back in 2019. Uh, have not heard anything from them officially. Would love for them to be there. I've also tried to reach out to like some of the local squadrons just to get like some kind of a presence. Uh, but here, and, and this applies to kind of any question about, you know, will Exhibitor X be at the show? The best thing y'all can do is reach out to them and post on their forums and try to get their attention because I will do the best job Job that I can but I can tell you from experience sometimes even just like one or two people sending a ping to a developer then when I reach them again that week they're like you know what people keep asking me about the show and I'm like good yeah let's talk you know and finally we get their interest <laughs> so nothing confirmed there yet I'm still trying and if you have a line to them if you're on their forums if you know of any way to get their attention please do that and tell them that they should be at this show because that's the one you know that's kind of the one missing platform I would say at this stage we've got basically all the other big ones there We're be nice to get them out to the show yeah, yeah i will send the troops yes <laughs> seriously that's what it takes and, and it works uh, yeah. be amazing to have dcs there absolutely yes. amazing yes amazing um guys listen this has been an incredible hour um we've learned so much about the show we've learned about who's going to be there we've learned how we can win an all expenses paid trip to get to the show and there is still going to be so much more news to come. Like Evan said at the very beginning of the show, in about two weeks, hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about uh, some of the activities that's going to happen uh, during the weekend in Vegas. And also we still got to learn all about the seminars and uh, announcements that's going to take place over the weekend. So make sure you do keep an eye on all your media partners for the latest information about what is to come, because there is still going to be so much more news uh, all about Flight Sim Expo 2024. Um, Evan, I'm going to hand it back to you to wrap uh -huh. things up, how people can get tickets, and also why they need to book their tickets before April 1st. 
Yes, absolutely. So flightsomexpo.com is the place to register. Uh, you can enter the contest, but I would definitely register if you're planning to come to the show before April 1st. The reason is our best pricing of the year. We extended that. It would normally have gone up on March 1st, but to celebrate the venue announcement and everything else that was going on, we've extended it for another month. So this is the best time to get tickets to the show. And if you do that before April 1st, you'll be saving a little bit of cash for those prices go up. If you have more questions, I can see the chat, by the way. Love the chat. Thank you so much for being so kind and welcoming. Lots of good questions, comments, suggestions. Uh, if we haven't gotten back to you on there, please join us in Discord. I'll be there answering your questions later today. Phil, Jonathan, and other members of our team, happy to answer more of your questions. The place to go for tickets and details. And now our full partner list is Flight Sim Expo. Dot com. And I think maybe we'll just leave people with one more run through of that awesome trailer that Callum did. By the way, this was all him. Like, I didn't even do anything. I just said, hey, Callum, <laughs> here's a bunch of exhibitors. Can you make me a nice video? And it, like a day later, this beautiful trailer comes out and uh, lots of cool footage and stuff in there. So I think we'll maybe leave people with that as well as that link to flightsomexpo.com slash Q8Pilot to register. Does that sound good to you guys? Sounds great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great, yeah. Perfect. Well, again, big thanks to all of you in the chat for commenting along. For those of you following us, all of our media partners, of course, those of you on the screen, Callum, for the beautiful video. We will see you all in Las Vegas. And to wrap things up once more, here are the 2024, at least the first round of confirmed exhibitors. Thank you very much, and I just want to confirm the SWAT code that you gave me is 5214, is that right? Citation uh, 144, Mike Alpha. Citation 4, Mike Alpha, negative SWAT code is 4214. 4214, thank you, have a great day. Citation 144, Mike Alpha.